I'm Mike, you're watching The Wandering Wolf, and this is the Herculaneum. Welcome to Naples, Italy, a place filled with colorful homes, ancient sites, and the world-famous Mount Vesuvius. In 79 AD, this volcano erupted several times over two whole days, and about a dozen major cities were destroyed in a matter of hours, including Herculaneum and Pompeii, in a wave of ash reaching temperatures over 500 degrees. Today, they stand as a freeze frame of Roman life, a whole world caught in its final moments. Both are open to the public as major archaeological sites, and we were excited to check them out, starting off at Herculaneum. So we're here at the Herculaneum, and uh, I will give you all the information on this place in post, because I literally know nothing about it, just that it was a cool spot to go to. I'll tell you more about Pompeii, but um, I guess this town suffered the same fate as Pompeii. Just better preserved. Just better preserved. Smaller though. Um, and it is smaller, yes. But um, still looks pretty extensive. Probably going to take us 45 minutes to an hour to walk through here. Maybe longer. Um, as you can see, it's, I don't know, probably like four big city blocks. So down here, I don't know if you can see it, but um, these rooms right here with the gates on it are filled with bodies. From up here, I can see it. Um, they're just filled with skeletons. Um, I'm sure I'll get some more information, but it looks like somewhere where everybody went to try to take refuge. Um, and they just ended up in a Death, tra death trap, basically. Um, we'll get down there and show you a better, better look at it. Um, but it's, that's, that's crazy. Herculaneum was the first city to be uncovered here around the base of Mount Vesuvius. The city was buried under five times the amount of ash as Pompeii, thanks to being closer to the volcano. And that left it much better preserved. Judging from what has been excavated, this was once a fairly wealthy town. Most of the houses here have multiple stories and are decorated with mosaics and marble. And it's kind of incredible that it's all still here, left standing, and pretty much wide open to be walked through. Just watch your head. Apparently, everybody was much shorter back then because the doorways come up to my shoulders. But you can see there's still paintings preserved. Little frescoes, I guess. <clears throat> Apparently this is a uh, school field trip day. But uh, Still, it's not very crowded. Not, not anywhere near as crowded as um, some of the other places we've been. So reading this thing, it actually says these doors here, wooden doors are original. So they've been preserved in the mosaic floor. And the walls are lined and decorated. It looks like marble. I don't know. It's not marble, but all the buildings, like all the walls and stuff were painted with murals and depictions of different things. Um, this is really cool. We're gonna head down to the bodies now. 
Excavations at the site started from the main buildings in the center of town out to the edges. And for a long time, it was thought that most of the people here made it out safely, since these buildings didn't have very many remains in them. But as work continued, they uncovered these vaults along what would have been the old shoreline. Inside were around 350 people, one of the last groups trying to escape out to sea. So a lot of these rooms have a lot of, um, you can see where it was so hot, the stone melted. And, uh, and some of these, um, where the skeletons are, you can tell whole families were like laid down together and you can see babies. Skulls that are way smaller. Kind of sad. some down here too that um, you can tell we're like couples embracing or holding each other there's a lot of people a lot of, a lot of skeletons in this room um, but it looks like each room each of these rooms I don't, they, they were just death traps they got so hot that the stone melted in certain places and all the wood has uh, evidence of heating up it's all blackened I think here is one of the ones that uh, kind of moved me the most. It looks like a family that laid down together. So this place is really cool. Um, we've only been walking around for what, like 30 minutes maybe? And uh, some of those rooms with the uh, bodies in it, it looks like, a, a, like it would have been a really horrible way to go. Um, you can see how hot it was in there. Um, by evidence of the stone, there's parts where the stones are melted on the walls, the wood's still intact on some of the door frames and they're all blackened. And uh, you can tell by the position of the bodies and the families, they're holding each other, and holding babies. And the way that they laid down when they died, that they were all pretty scared. So you're talking about inhaling hot ash, filled air and suffocating your skin's burning off to death off. as uh, your lungs are heated up, uh, heating up and your skin is burning until you turn into ash. Sounds like a really, really horrible way to die. A lot of Herculaneum is still left to be uncovered. The town's theater, main forum, and its several houses and temples are still buried on these grounds. It wasn't even until earlier this year that excavations were able to continue after about 20 years of work to get this place looking nice again. So by the time you get to visit, there could be even more to see. Tickets cost 17 euro per person, or less if you're an EU citizen. And the site is open every day except Wednesdays from 10.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Uh-oh, one last tip. If you come here to the Herculaneum, there's a big pathway here. You walk down that, and most everybody goes to the right here, which takes you into the little town or whatever. But if you go to the left, there's this like tunnel that we walked up. And if you go down that, that'll actually shoot you down straight to where the bodies are. And if there's crowds and stuff that have to work their way through the city, the little town, you can skip all that and go straight to the, uh, to the skeletons or whatever, if that's what you wanna see first, and then work your way up into the city. So if you wanna see the skeletons, go left. If you wanna go straight to the little town, Go where everybody else is going to the right. Either way, you're gonna wanna see all of it. If you like this video and you wanna see more, then hit that like button and subscribe. And share us around with all of your friends. 
That is the best way to help our channel continue to grow. Thank you so much to all of our Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support us as well, then hit the link in the description below. Stay safe and have a great week.